a couple of weeks ago, um, my son downloaded Pokemon Go, and it's been a good way to connect with him, so I downloaded it on my phone, and, and I've just been using it as something to talk with him about. Uh, and last night we were talking, and he's been getting up like really early in the morning uh, and going out before he even has breakfast or does anything else. He, he wakes up in the morning, he wants to go find Pokemon. And, uh, and I've been so just cooped up uh, in the house lately that I finally told him last night, I said, okay, when you get up, you know, what time do you get up? And he told me, and I said, well, come get me and we'll, we'll go out together. Uh, and it was, it was nice to start my day uh, just going out uh, and kind of being in nature, but it's been just so unseasonably cold the last few days. Um, and so I went out and I, I meant to take some gloves with me and didn't take them. And so by the time we got back, my hands were freezing and my face was freezing. And um, we got close to, to the end and started coming home and, and he saw that there was a rare Pokemon that he wanted. He's like, can I run back and go get it? And I said, yeah, that's fine. And, um, and I stood there and just as I was standing there, the sun started to kind of come up and it was breaking through these two houses where I was standing. And the warmth of the sun has never felt so good um, because I was just as, as cold as we were and it was early in the morning. Um, it really was incredible to feel um, this this presence, this, this sensation uh, that had nothing to do with any of my power or ability. Um, it was just given. Um, I love that in part. I started reading on my devotional this week. I've been going through and kind of trying to figure out a little bit more on what, is, what does it mean to uh, to be a Christian? What does it mean to be a disciple? What does it mean to evangelize and, and talk about the, the good news of God? And, and today in particular, my devotional drew me to Matthew 25, and that's a, a passage that our denomination has been really using as a, as a key focus point of, of where we wanna find our identity. And at the end of Matthew 25, it's a parable of the sheep and the goats. Uh, and it's, it's pretty familiar where um, Jesus is talking about this idea, um, you know, blessed are you for you, you saw me in prison and you visited me, you saw me hungry and you fed me, you saw me naked and you clothed me, and that the people turned and looked back and said, well, when did we ever visit you in prison? When did we ever see you hungry? When did we ever uh, see you naked needing clothes? And Jesus makes the statement that whatsoever you did to the least of your brothers and sisters, you've done to me. And I love it because it, it shifts our focus whenever we really accept and apply that to our lives. It shifts our entire understanding um, from being so inwardly focused to the other things that matter. And I think in part because uh, of the last couple of days I've just taken to rest, but I've been just indoors and I got so cooped up with that notion of just, oh, I'm, I'm inside and I'm focused on, on myself and it felt so good to just get out. And, and when I got out in nature to feel the presence of the divine in the warmth of the sun on me. And it was a beautiful reminder for me that, uh, that the focus of our attention, the focus of our day, the focus of our lives um, it is intended that we were created as beings to focus our attention on one another and not ourselves. That there's only so much that we can do um, where we just consume and consume and consume before we finally hit a point, I think, where we realize, you know what, I need to start pouring back out again. And, and we come up with lots of excuses and reasons for why we can't, um, whether we're tired or we don't have the energy or we don't have the time. But in those moments where we actually push all of that aside and we begin to think, you know what, it's not about me, it's not about what I can get, um, but it's about others. It's about being out in the community, it's about being out in nature, it's about uh, visiting people that need it, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, that, that those things are the things that really matter. That, that in some miraculous way, I think time and time again, God shows up. In, in incredible ways, as the sunlight that warms us in, in ways that we can't control, in ways we can't understand or comprehend. Uh, and so my prayer for you as we go uh, through this week, um, as we continue to celebrate the resurrection and continue to celebrate Easter, um, is that we would be able to 
to see God moving and acting and breathing and, and creating in this world in ways that we can't really understand or control. And that there's something beautiful in that, that there's something beautiful in not being the one to have to control everything.